Um, I said I would show you my glasses that I was wearing. I wasn't lying. I am actually wearing glasses. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Oh no. Shut up, I'm good. Should still be able to go through the magic again. Ah! I need to jump! No! Hello everyone! Welcome to Back to the Future of the Game. Now, I didn't know this game existed until just a couple of days ago, and how in love I am with, like, just Back to the Futures and Star Trek and Star Wars, I have to play this game. It has to be a thing I have to play. Now, I got this in the Hundle, Humble Bundle, and you can check that out. I'll put a link in the description, and it's on what's in, on sale this week. And the actual one came with a bunch of other games, which I got as well. I got both of the bundles. I got all the Telltale games that they have there and I got all of the ones that they have in the hundo bundle so let's go on to new game let's do this before we begin would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal sure why not I, why not I don't understand the hall minute uh now I didn't see Back to the Future, any of them, until I think of last year, so this is where I'm going to start getting quiet. So during the cutscenes and stuff, All I'm right, not going to talk. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. I remember it being a lot slower. You got it that not thing happening that fast. Car. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. And I remember Marty just kind of holding the camera, aiming at the ground, not at the actual car. I remember that happening. Not me. The car! The car! I mean, I guess you can't get everything right. But, it's, it's, I like it. I like it so far. Just the cutscene looks amazing. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. You disintegrated Einstein. <laughs> what I tell you? 88 miles per hour. The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1:20 a.m. and zero seconds. Ah, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Oh my god, this when is the exciting. The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And it precisely what... I'm gonna try to do exactly what happened in the movie. So catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Kind of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Uh, I said I'm gonna try to do it as much as I can, but I don't know. Some some things I don't know if I can remember. Like, I remembered both of those two because I think I've seen the intro about 17,000 times. Uh, so. Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? Should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Oh no. Doc, uh, wh what happened, to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Oh, this is bad. Okay, Doc needs his notebook. Walt, walk Marty to the left. Okay, so you use those until you can see Doc's toolbox. 
toolbox. Click and hold the left mouse. Okay. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Emmett Brown. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. This <laughs> <That's, laughs> equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of N, carry the nine, then. This isn't the way it happens. Something's way off here. Yeah, because I, I don't remember... this. No, this wasn't what happened in the actual movie. And I don't uh, think it's supposed to follow the actual movie, which is good. Because that would be kind of lame. Oh. Oh, Scott. Oh, jeez. What is it? I've made a horrible mistake. It's about time. Ha! <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? No. I'm sorry, Marty. Ah, come back! Ah! My god, what happened? I don't understand what happened. So... Ah! Oh, was it a bad dream? What it... Marty? Where is he now? Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. And Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Okay, huh? so I guess this is after the movies. Were you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Back to the future is our game. Probably gonna have more fun with this game than I've had with any other game ever. Except for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, because that's one of my favorite games. And maybe Mafia 2. Mafia 2 is amazing. Written and designed by Andy Hart Hartzell Mike Stimmel. Good job. Uh, you, you too. Art director Derek Sakai. Good job, you as well. Made it great. Lead animator Peter. I'm assuming that the T is silent, so it's Sakel. Eric Parsons, lead choreographer. Lead programmer Randy Tudor. Directed by Dennis Lenart. Don't worry about that noise in the background. That's my cat going wild. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's dark stuff. The city has no right now, to- Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and- Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? That's oh, just not, not as Jules Verne. At least things that was his favorite. Worse. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Hey, it's Biff. I remember Biff. Uh, I guess I'm just- Remembering. This that's sad. Now, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see what that noise is. And we are back with Marty McFly. Selected items around select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. Um the dog feeder from the first. George, your father. Uh the amplifier. That's oh wait a second. Noise. Yeah, I have to. 
I have to actually click on them. Oh, this is a bad idea. Remember the first time he did this? That's oh, just controls. About to click anything else over here? No. Um, anything over here? Doesn't look to be so. The controls are kind of weird. Can I not go over to the dog feeder? Have you looked at the model of Hill Valley? Oh, thanks for the hint. So do I click on it, Doc built or do this I model left? Of downtown Hill Valley way right. back in 1955. Right Clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, I can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Um... I'm gonna be like, can I mind if I see that for just can a second? I see that model courthouse for just a second. I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Come on, Biff, don't be a douche. Oh, really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Biff, you are a douche. Get in here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to- Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah. Biff, why are you such a jerk? Um, you need to get Doc's on over back from Biff. Click the hints button. I don't want to click the hints button, though. Can I just punch him and just go up to him and punch hey, him in the Biff. face? Can I go down? I'll buy the notebook from you. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough. <laughs> You're such a douche. That it reminds me of the dog. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. Oh my gosh, Biff, you're you're a big douche. It's worthless. It's listening. notebook with doc scribblings. What did doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. It's dangerous. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Yes. Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Um, you wouldn't understand? That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Yes. Whoops. I meant to press that for exit. Ah, uh, never mind. Maybe I can give him something. Uh, electrical equipment. Guessing that's hints, that story so far. These are all great and all. It's just I don't know what they're what they do to for me. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Because they were just clocks. Oh, he took one of them. No, 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 don't go over him. He took one of them. Jennifer would like that. She's into old stuff. Oh, look at that one. It's gone. Whatever. I guess Detective Seth. Hey, let me... Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Ask him. Oh, uh, yeah, ask your dad. Be like, be like, Dad, tell him to give it back. I remember that. Let's tell him to give it back to me. Daddy won't hey, give Dad. it to me. I had a dream. He's running himself. Doc's alive. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know. Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it. But Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. That's a bunch of bullcrap, you ask me. 
I need to protect Doc's that notebook. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. I gotta tell him that he's dead. Oh, can I not just feel like you he's think dead? dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. <sighs> I don't understand. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. God, why can't I just take a baseball bat and just go beat the crap out of Biff? Never so give me the problem. notebook, fatty! Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them off. Yeah, the notebook! Freaking escape. Stop. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Can, why can't I just take this fire extinguisher and just hit him over the head with it? Oh wait a second! I turn on like the lamp for to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. I can't. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Marty's guitar. Plug it up to that. Hey, Dad, blow beer. Why is my blow guitar got a Biff's price tag on it? Eyes up. Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Picked up. Left click the blinking inventory. Open your inventory. Use that over here. Oh yeah. Hey, Biff. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> yes. Yes, stand Look right there. Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, dad. I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, gosh. You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Can I say don't worry about it and then let him use it? Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. I had my chance, I bet. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Now grab it! Grab it! Dad, yeah. shut up. Dad, I shut up. I thought I told you not... Oh, right. Sure thing, Mr. McFly. My gosh. I'm just warming them up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. <sighs> I don't understand what that is. It's just bow. Okay, now I need to go tell Dad to be like. I need to go be like, Dad, shut up. Get him nerves. Hey, Dad. Um, I can find my own fights. About Biff, Dad. I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Yes, that's what I need. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. Okay, I know what to do now. Crap. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. This is genius. Guitar. I better not crank it up anymore. No. Quit. Guitar. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. Don't say anything. Yes. Yes! Yes! Now watch me blow the lid off this joint! Whatever you say. Un... What is it? UNLIMITED POWER! <laughs> Back on, Biff. Oh, shoot. Magnifico! Bulletproof oh, first. Doc, where are you? Oh my gosh! It's it's the time machine, the DeLorean. Do they actually make a name for it? Other than the time machine? I don't remember. Ah! 
I thought this thing was just. Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it. Well, um, I think this has been enough of Back to the Future Episode 1. And we'll continue this story next time. I've been Seth, and this has been Back to the Future. I will see you later.